Let's go ahead and unpack the FADU and examine what exactly is inside the case. Before we do, let's talk a little bit about the case. The case is made of uh, some special hardwood that we buy. It's very stiff, so it minimizes any flex from the FADU in service. We've completely covered all the edges in aluminum angle to keep uh, those safe and uh, upgrade the appearance a bit. On the top of each FADU, you'll see the, the name of the unit, as well as its serial number. And that's uh, true for all the units. The logo is always on the head end of the unit. The foot end of the unit is, is always bare. And you, that, you'll, that will come into play. You'll see what that means as we unpack the unit. So let me move around and begin unpacking the unit. There are two draw latches on either end. We're going to simply undo one, then we'll move back around, undoing the other. But before we do, we're going to place our leg in front of the unit to prevent this front panel from falling down and potentially injuring somebody's foot. So we'll open that draw latch, let it drop. We'll pick up the, the top and we'll simply let that come back down onto the floor. Now we'll move back around and we'll allow this unit to come down and it's fully deployed at this point. Now this is our base section that our FADU will actually mount to for use in training. Starting at this end, we have two end caps on both sides. The, this end cap at the head of the unit, remember we said the logo is always at this end. When you pack it back up, this, these end caps simply lift out they're notched so that they fit in grooves. And we're just going to set that aside. This unit allows us to completely uh, control the axial movement of this so it can't move inside the case. The FADU comes with our FADU uh, gasket compression module installed on the unit, which is these two black flanges. This silver component is our strain gauge bolt protection shroud which protects the delicate connections of the strain gauge bolts and the cabling that runs into the unit. Inside the unit, in this area, is our data acquisition system. That's the heart of the FADU. It collects all the data and outputs it by a USB connection directly to your computer. This section of the standpipe is empty and it's where your cord storage is for your line power from the wall and also your USB cord is folded up and moved, stuffed in here from the end. Each FADU comes with a parts box. The parts box contains various components, your load cell, a padlock, some flange simulation plates, flange bolts to fix the unit to the platform, as well as some A193 B7 studs, some 2H, fasten some 2H nuts, and also some hardened steel washers. We're going to take this parts case and we're just going to set it to the side for the time being. This end of the unit down here, this end cap, uh, has, as you can see, has a little uh, storage case in here, and you can use that for storing extra gaskets or whatever have you. We're gonna take this out and just set it to the side as well. At this point, we're going to go ahead and remove, before we set up the unit, we're going to go ahead and remove the USB cable, and we're going to reach back in and remove the line cord power connection and set them off to the side. Now we're ready to go ahead and stand the FADU up in preparation for mounting it. So let's go ahead and do that. We simply rock it out of the saddles, set it up on one end and let it sit there momentarily. We have our saddles here. As you can see, the uh, saddle on this end is positioned so it's hard against this flange that's mounted 
temporarily to the base here as a standoff to maintain the distance. We're going to just lift that free, uh, free standing saddle out and we're going to set it off to the side, which leaves us with one component left. And this is our base unit for our torque preload module. It's held in position for travel and transport and storage by two of the flange bolts. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly take these bolts out, set them to the side, and flip this over. And we're going to set this unit to the side as well, get it out of our way. So now we're going to just take this unit and we're going to lift it up and move it right over here onto the mounting platform. And you'll notice in front that there are two cap screws down here. And these cap screws serve a mounting purpose inside the unit, but they also always align with the number one position stamped in the side of the shroud protection plate. You can see each bolt position is stamped around this plate. It's useful for an instructor to know where that number one position is so you don't have to hunt for it when you're teaching. So what I like to do is turn this around so that the number one position is facing away from the class and that allows me to always know that the number one position is back here next to me. Now, we're going to have to tilt this forward a little bit. We're going to take both of these cords, push them down into a channel that is routed out underneath this rubber platform. And you can see that they just push right down into this channel and disappear below it. So for the time being, now that we've got that started, we're going to align our bolt holes, take these two flange screws that we took out from the torque preload module, and we're going to use those to align the unit and screw those in. Then we're going to reach back here opening up our parts case, and we're going to pull out the other six flange bolts and put them in as well. Once we have them all inserted, we're just quickly going to screw them down. You may have to rock the unit a little bit to get them aligned. Be sure you get them all moving freely before you start tightening any one of them down all the way. The last two, And we're good. We'll close the parts case again. And we'll move around here and we'll undo the Velcro closures on the cables so that we can plug these in in a moment. We're gonna gather up both of these cables together. I like to put the small cable beneath the big cable, and we're just going to push them straight down into this cut area to allow the cables to go down into the routed channel below the mat. And you can see this way it keeps the uh, cord off the foot area and increases uh, the safe uh, use of the platform so that we don't have any trip hazards here at all. So that's really how that works in terms of setting up the unit.